So one of the criticisms that gets hurled against uh, folks like me, people who are interpreting kata in ways that deviates from, you know, oh, someone's doing a lunge punch and you're blocking it and then you counter with a reverse punch. Uh, we get criticized, well, that's not real karate um, or that's not real Okinawan karate. And I've, I've heard this a bunch of times. I had somebody comment on one of the videos I'd, I'd uh, prepared. Oh, he just, that's not the real style. He was just putting his own stuff in there. So, you know, I got to tell you that I'm a classicalist, which means I don't really care. As a classicalist, I only ask uh, one question, is that, does it work? As a pragmatist, I ask another question, is it better than what you're doing? So if it works and it's better than what you're doing, then I'm not going to do what you're doing. I'm going to do what works. So that's a classical point of view. However, I do want you to understand that if you look deeply into classical Okinawan martial arts, you notice I'm using the word classical and not traditional, you will find the very, very things that I'm talking about. Now, this is important for some people because some people are not classicalists. They're actually traditionalists. Traditionalism is a kind of... Uh, belief system. It's a kind of fundamentalism. The idea that there's a correct way to do it, and if you're not doing that, you've deviated from the stream of orthodoxy. Well, I don't have a lot of use for that myself, but I do understand it because I came out of that kind of traditional uh, martial arts background where, well, the, why do we do it like this, Sensei? Because this is the correct way. This is how it's done in our style. So, um, I just want you to see something. Here's a little teeny, couple of little clips from uh, a video which appears on my website for my subscribers to watch. So, it's a little clip. It's me showing Bunkai for um, a kata called Seisan, in particular the style of Seisan we call uh, Old Seisan or Tamari Seisan. And, and I just want you to watch this for a minute. So I come one, two, three, boom. See the leg control, the arm control. There's my punch, and then I would throw the hip in. Now, look at this picture. This is Choki Matobu. He's doing this exact technique. So the bunkai that I'm showing you is basically indistinguishable, functionally at least, from what Choki Matobu is teaching as real karate, his what's called a kumite hen. It's the same technique, it's the exact same principle. And so it turns out that, you know, even though my approach is not asking the question, what does authentic Okinawan martial arts look like? I'm asking what works, what's pragmatic, what's functional, what's most efficient. And yet when I do that, what do I end up with? The very same thing that is considered the best example of classical Okinawan martial arts. So I just wanted to kind of make that point and just say, you know, if you're doing this stuff, you're probably not doing traditional Okinawan martial arts. You're doing something that evolved in the 50s or 60s, not something that represents the, the best tradition of the style. So if you're a traditionalist, unlike me, I recommend that you do the same thing I'm doing, not only because it works better and because it works, period, but because it's actually more authentically Okinawan. Hey, I apologize for the voice. It's that time of year when the colds are going around and I have grandchildren who share everything they get with me. But I'm Chris Thomas, and these are some reflections from the master class. Thanks for watching, and now go train. <laughs>